So we're still here at a dwindling Colston Avenue after Carl Schultz Athletic fall to a heavy defeat, 4-1 against Hornchurch, who now jump up into second in the league. Alan has joined us. Um, what was it like from the terraces today, Alan? Sad. Disappointment? Sad. Um, it, it had to happen. It was getting, you know, a bit samey, all this winning and clean sheets and everything. And now we know what football is. Uh, we were beaten by a much better side on the day. Um, they were strength in depth. Uh, uh, best defence I've certainly seen this season, uh, just so solid. Mr Mark Simpson, the manager of Hornchurch. Uh, Mark, thanks for joining us. First and foremost, uh, what did you say to the lads in the dressing room after that? No, I'd say it's a fantastic win because Cole Shorten are a side who caused you lots of problems. They've got lots of pace, and lots of power and we had to come here today and defend well and then obviously on the break create chances and take them and uh, we've done that today. So to go away with the three points, obviously I'm delighted and... Uh, we look forward to the next game now. Tommy, obviously a disappointing afternoon. Um, what did Peter and Keith say in the dressing room afterwards? Uh, not too much, to be honest. Not as much as you'd probably think. Yeah, they'll probably say more in the week. Um, just obviously all bitterly disappointed. They're disappointed, so not always the best to go into things when you're upset. So w w we're most likely talk Monday training. I was very impressed with uh, the work rate by your boys when they were off the ball actually they were getting in Carl Shorten's face not giving them a second to rest on the ball was that part of the game plan coming in? Yeah I think you have to against Carl Shorten because they've got some very good individuals the two wide boys have got fantastic ability in one-on-one -on -one situations so he said when it goes out wide we've got to try and get close and double up if we can and uh, try and get them out of their stride and I thought the boys done that really well today. Stimo's got the boys like really playing at the moment hasn't he? Yeah 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 it's, yeah, it's, well, it's the one we lost at Brighton and away we never really win there <laughs> we've, we've got such a terrible record there but but honestly it's it that that it, Playing on the 3G part grass today, honestly, I, I love, I love it. What, what's going on? It really suited our style of football, to be honest. Obviously, five wins on the spin before this one today. Did, did we just come up against a better opponent on, on, on the day? Can you put your finger on where it might have gone wrong? Uh, yeah, probably just on the day they were better than us, stronger than us. Um, but we weren't completely at it for the whole 90. Uh, a different sort of test of what we've had the last sort of five games. We weren't creating that many chances either, would that be fair to say? Yes, it really was and for reasons, you know, best known, we've seen them on cracking form um, and thrilling runs from the wings and straight down the middle. Omar, very worrying really because we don't know what he's done to his leg. He turned so quickly in the first half that could have injured any part of his leg. Fingers crossed, Omar, you know, get well soon, mate. From your vantage point on the dugout, it must have been a really satisfying afternoon's work today. To come away and beat Cole Shorten 4-1, uh, there's no way. Before the game, you know, we wanted, if we come away with something today, would have been a good day. But to turn it over 4-1, unbelievable. You know, we, we've now sent a message out. You know, we've done it worthing 6-0, and then today, we've done it today. But don't get me wrong, I think this team will be in the top three. That's how good they are. So, 4-1 might sound like a great score, but they were, they're a decent side. Decent, decent, decent side. Talk about Carl Shorten, yeah. Yeah, decent side. Oh, no. Talk, if I talk about us, I wouldn't say decent. I'd just say unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Dixon, he's got eight goals for the season now. Perhaps maybe should have had nine. He had that one in the second half, didn't he? But he's on fire at the moment. Yeah, he could have had that, like you said, the one in the second half. In the first half, he had a great left foot shot at the crossbar as well. So, uh, no, with Chris, he's getting in behind defences. He, he's a fantastic lad. I worked with him many, many years ago when I was manager at Gillingham. I took him on loan from Cholton in League One. Uh, and he's had a fantastic career. And uh, at this level, we can keep him fit and smiling. He's going to be he's going to be a top player for us. What's he trying to build there? Because he said to me that he's brought a few new players in over the summer, and he looks like he's got a real core squad there. Yeah, it's, if I'm being be honest, it, it I'm unsettled a few of us fans uh, at the beginning again. But you can see what's being built here, and it's it going on. And um, we've got Chris Dixon up front, who's absolutely class. We keep on playing on these surfaces and teams keep on thinking it's going to play into their advantage because they're at home. But we play great football and today that proved that 4-1 against you guys. You've got a really good side out there and you know at certain points within the game you were very strong against us. But I think we just, in the end, we dominated the game at the end of the day and we, we took our chances. We had a couple of more chances we could have scored but I think we were just the better side at the end of the day and uh, I think we should push on from here. What was the chat like in the dressing room between the boys? Are they all arguing about who scored the best goal today? Oh, the banter is ridiculous. No, seriously, the, ban the banter in the changing room is just, uh, it's, it's unique. And I've been in some changing rooms, um, but that's a special one. And they don't come that often. They don't, 
you know, because change rooms win your games, win your leagues. Yeah, are at Hornchurch, you're in second place. It's still very early doors, but it must give you heart for, for pushing on. Yeah, listen, don't get too carried away with that second place at the moment. I think all you can do up until Christmas, try and get as many points as possible uh, and also try and get a certain way you want to play. We, we brought in a lot of players this pre-season. We had a very disturbed pre-season with a couple of players breaking, one breaking on hand, one breaking some bones in his hand. So we never had the full team. We still haven't got the full team. But if we can keep picking points up, January, February time, that's when it gets really interesting and uh, hopefully we're in there with the Cole Shortens and I'm sure the Harring Gays and your Folkestons uh, and hopefully can be in the mix. Yeah, I mean, Folkestone have had a right good start to the season, haven't they? They're still top dogs. Yeah, good side. Again, like you, Cole Shorten last year, they was up there, t just faded away at the end, but they've reinvested. They've got a good striker there and you've also got to look at East Farrock coming down and M Field are always around it as well. So it's a fantastic league. We're trying to do our best to stand around it and uh, I'm sure Cole Shorten will do that as well. Do you have a favourite goal of the afternoon? Uh, uh, probably um, Ukechi up front for us, scoring at the end of the fourth goal. He's uh, brilliant. He's been brilliant for us and we, we love him as fans. So, And you can tell why these guys behind me. But uh, Is like, that your fan club going on over there? Is it? Yeah, they are my fan club, the fan club, to be honest. Well, just looking towards next week, then, we've got to get back on form, haven't we? Because it's yes. the FA Cup again. Oh, well, what what know, do you think about the tie at Harrow? Um, I think great. You know, it's a, it's a journey, and I'll be there. You know, I feel a bit of a sham because I couldn't make the last two games, but it was work, uh, that, you know, work commitments. But, um, you know, yeah, I mean, we'll turn up and we'll give anybody a run for their money. So, you know, Robin's forever. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I just wish you wish them well and they'll they'll shape it up peter peter at the helm he's the man and and keith obviously management you know they can swing this round for us just lastly on a personal note you made your first um, full start of the season so how are you feeling within yourself and also i didn't recognize you without the mask yeah that's gone now i sort of hit the three months mark now so what i wanted to see this week without playing with it i trained all week without it and then wanted to start sort of getting out of it um, but yeah, on a personal level, it's good to get 90 minutes because I'm well out of match practice, so I need minutes. And yeah, hopefully I'll get more. Tom, cheers, mate. Thanks for stepping up.